way from Tilos to where we were going to Yali, but ended up in Kos. But the engine started to die on us. It died to a point of not stopping, and then picked up again and kept doing that all the way here. And we checked the fuel filter next to the engine, and that's clean. We've cleaned that out. There wasn't much in there. But I didn't realise there was a fuel trap, a water trap, um, next to the tank, which is here. Um, it's a CPAR. It's quite a big one, actually. Um, and to be honest, it's absolutely full of rubbish, water, and it looks like there's a bug in it. Well, we've been down in the, the um, marina, and we've gone to the Chandler's and we've bought some biodiesel fuel additive. And apparently it's really good stuff, and uh, 100 mils of this will kill off the bug that we've got. So we're going to add that to the tank now. It's supposed to leave it 24 hours before we um, start the engine, or you actually move. We're here for a couple of days anyway, so it's not a problem. So this is the water trap that drain because obviously you get water in fuel. Um, this new eco fuel is full of water, and that's what's come out. To sludgy, horrible, disgusting. This is a um, tank pick up and I've just took it out and it's full of gunk. It was it was just block solid. So there's obviously a bit of a bug in there and it's clogged everything up. Got a bit of petrol out to clean the fuel filter and those are the bits that have come out. It's quite a lot of crap really. So just keep cleaning and make sure it runs clear and then uh, put it back together. This is the fuel filter that is attached to the engine so it's the last filter that it filters the fuel before it actually goes in. Um, we've had this off before and cleaned it out, but now finding what we've found, I think it's a good idea to do it again, so I'm going to take it off. So that's the old filter, <laughs> and that's the new. <laughs> Bit of a difference, but then again, I suppose they do get dirty. But yeah, so I've been and got a new one, and that was what 11 euro. Mm -hmm. It wasn't too bad. I think we paid more for that one actually. I have no idea, I can't remember. And that was in Turkey. taken all the diesel out of the tank. Um, we found a couple of black bits at the bottom, but the rest seemed pretty clear. So here you've got the um, the filler comes from the top, and this one is the breather pipe it allows the tank to breathe. So we've got the bar out in the middle, undone all the connectors, undone the inlet and the outlet pipes. And that isn't going to lift out of there in a hurry. So what's stopping it? There are clips. So I've been taking the tank out, swilled it out with petrol. It was pretty clean anyway. Um, very, very little of anything in it. The only th sort of crap that came out was that bit in the bottom of there. So that black at the bottom of that could be the debris from the additive killing the bug. Yeah. Presumably. Yeah. It could. We, we just don't know. But if that's all the walls, that's brilliant. The tank's back in, just slots in. Um, this secures it down, so you've got um, just a rod through the middle, a uh, piece of tubing, secures it down. Don't tighten it down too much because uh, it's plastic, so don't want to break it. Yep. 
とした。So this is the uh, sender unit. Can't see. Need the light. So this is the sender unit. Um, this is for your fuel gauge. Tells you how much you've got in there. Last, but no means least, is the pickup.